Going into to Yachty's final season, we, we knew that we were going to have to find a replacement at one point. And uh, so even going back to, to the beginning of, of 2022, we were already starting to look at, at what potential opportunities could be out there. And, and so when we were like casting that net, we realized that it was going to take a very unique person to come and replace what we've watched for the last two decades. And, uh, you know, as, as we scoured the market from the trade market to, to the free agent market, we, we came to the conclusion that Wilson was someone of great interest to us. And then I can now confirm that last uh, November 30th, or it was past November 30th, uh, Ollie and I did meet with uh, Wilson. And I think both parties came away from that meeting with, with the hope that we could get something done. And so fast forward to this past Monday, um, our team, Gersh, Flo, Moy, um, we all met with, with Scotty Pacino and Jose to sort of talk through it. You know, now it was sort of brass tax time. It was where rubber meets the road. Could we find a way to get a deal done? And subsequently, uh, we did talk numbers for the first time Monday morning. By Tuesday morning, we thought we could find a way to get a deal done. By Tuesday night, we had a deal. So it begs the question, so why Wilson? You know, a couple reasons. One, he's really good at baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Two, he has great respect for the history of the game and the history of the Cardinals. We were... Three, we were able to, to not have to trade away from our major league club. We, weren't ha we didn't have to trade prospects, and that was something that we, we valued, and we really wanted to try to, to maintain our core club. And finally, after enjoying dinner last night together, uh, it became very clear to all of us that he truly wanted to be a Cardinal. And so it's with great pleasure, with pride, I get to introduce Wilson Contreras to the St. Louis Cardinals family.